and welcome to a very hot what's hot. In the week where the price of oil is surging because of tensions with Iran, where the stock in Ted Baker is surging because founder and former chief executive Ray Kelvin certainly does give a hug. And in the week where the UK will have a new prime minister. But remember, stranger decisions have been made, just perhaps not as ludicrous as this one. Well, let's turn our attention to Wednesday when we get the latest update from broadcaster ITV and we'll find out if it's more than TV strategy will be a revenue and viewer generator. The Sunday Times said the broadcaster is due to report a slide in advertising this week, despite attracting a record number of viewers for its reality television show Love Island. Uncertainty over Brexit being blamed for poor demand there, so I suppose Love Island becomes unloved Ireland. Well, shares in ITV have fallen 12% since the start of the year as investors question how traditional companies such as ITV can compete with American streaming juggernauts such as Netflix and Amazon Prime. Well, just last week, ITV announced it has signed an agreement with the BBC to launch BritBox. Now, this is a subscription-based video streaming service in the UK. It's to be launched during the fourth quarter of 2019. Well, ITV will hold a 90% stake in the streaming subscription service, which will cost viewers £5.99 a month. Well, interims two on Wednesday for GlaxoSmithKline. The Sunday Times again saying promising results from a new ovarian cancer treatment means Emma Wormsley, the chief executive, will avoid a walk of shame at Wednesday's first half results. Now, the drug was acquired last year in a £4 billion swoop on American company Tesaro that netted a collection of unproven cancer treatments and drew criticism at the time over the price paid. Well, Wormsley is trying to transform Glaxo in an attempt to preserve its status as Britain's biggest drug maker. She has slashed scores of drug, drug programs. She sacked 40% of her top managers and she's threatened to split the company. Well, we will get first half results from Talo Oil. In June, the Africa-based oil company told investors it expects to report revenue of around 900 million US dollars for the first half of the year and it anticipates 500 million US dollars of gross profit. Well, Tullo at the time said that revenue and cash flow generation is expected to be heavily weighted to the second half because of its anticipated crude lifting schedule and phasing of tax payments and rebates. Well, Thursday, a busy day, as you can see, and we get preliminary results from Diageo. Well, Brexit getting an honourable mention from billboarder Goldstinger. Now, personally, I think it's sacrilegious to infuse vodka with anything other than ice. Fruit flavoured Smirnoff Diageo, what are you thinking? Now, investors may also hear more about the company's new 130 million US dollar distillery in Lebanon, which is about 66 miles south of Louisville and 29 miles west of Reading. Well, it looks as though it's all going Russian for pub and beer and hotel operator Fuller's Smith Turner, who also report on Thursday all about flipping the beer mat online. And if you get bored with that game, then go and ask for your free scoop of ice cream. Well, finals too for Highlands Natural Resources, where there's been lots of testy one fingered debate going on on the billboard site for that company. Um, it's regarding the company's foray into CBD can cannabis products and the vertical integration of its gas with organic industrial hemp growing operations. Well, Friday, a trading announcement from 
Vodafone. Now, the company is refreshing its brand with a new marketing campaign, updated mobile plans, revamped stores, website and mobile app in a bid to modernise the brand amid both the rollout of 5G data services and new rules that make it easier for customers to switch mobile operator. Now, the new product proposition sees Vodafone becoming the first network to offer unlimited data plans on both 4G and 5G, though not forgetting it did cut its dividend by some 40% way back in May. Well, last week, the European Commission conditionally approved Vodafone's acquisition of Liberty Global's cable business in the Czech Republic, Germany, Hungary and Romania. Well, plenty of AGMs this week. Wonder if Stobart will need security at their meeting in Guernsey this week. Well, that's all for now. Enjoy the heat and the ice cream from Fuller's. Till next time.